everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this, I should say, illusion in Adobe Illustrator that's supposed to be a logo and some of the similar design I uh, saw in uh, Logo Launch 8 uh, series. So let's start our tutorial by creating a new document. Ctrl N or Command N on your Mac and I'm gonna size this document with 1920 by 1080. Click Create and first of all grab the Curvature tool. This tool allows us to create a really smooth lines. So Shift tilde or simply grab this tool uh, next to the pen tool. So let's start by placing first node. You can see the first node in my canvas. Opposed to the pen tool you don't see where you put your node. Instead you see the actual curve you are designing. And if you want to see this node uh, as if you are designing with the pen tool you need to hold left mouse button Place the node and when you are satisfied, release left mouse button key. I'm working with it by default, so I can see only curves. And if you hold shift key, it allows you to constrain the angles. In the same manner as you can do for the another tools uh, in Adobe Illustrator. I am going to move it here and also here. Yeah, this tool requires some practice, but when you master it, you will see some avenues that where you can utilize it. For example, for UI elements, for, for graphics. So, uh, in any design, whenever you need a very smooth curves, you can use Curvature tool. And another important aspect of your tool is that you can simply change the position of your nodes when you create your design. And uh, while you're drawing with a Curvature tool, you can use Ctrl or Command on your Mac to switch between Direct Selection tool and Curvature tool and adjust the position of some nodes as well as uh, make some uh, changes to the width and position of the direction handles. And because you are drawing a simple vector path, you you can always go with the pen tool and delete some nodes or add some nodes with the pen tool as well. And last but not least, you can delete direction handles and create a straight line by holding Alt or Option on your Mac. So, with the combination of Pen tool, a Curvature tool and, um, and Dirk Selection tool, you can, uh, you can design this illustration. And then you need to grab the Line tool, click uh, Backslash to grab the Line tool and um, create uh, a perfectly vertical line. So hold shift key to create them and make them tangent to your course. Before start working with the uh, Dirk Selection tool, I just want to improve some of my uh, designs here. So it looks perfect, uh, for me at least. Uh, now use shift M to grab the Dirk Selection tool and uh, create some uh, compartments here. So select everything and then delete uh, the rest of your lines. Now um, let's, let's uh, go to the fun part of our tutorial. I'm going to allocate the colors to give a gradient to my tool and uh, it should be the simplest gradient possible. You see uh, in my illustration, let me ungroup it, three stop uh, liner gradient that is arranged either to the left right or uh, from the top right to the bottom left. I uh, found that both directions works uh, very well here for this particular design. So let me grab the airdropper tool and pick up this color and then I will explain the gradient uh, to you. So, let me undock my gradient panel and then I can present you a color. So, so guys, uh, this is a three point gradient and uh, I have a magenta uh, at the position of 0%, 4F3181, uh, then I have a magenta 3181, then I have this color into the position of uh, around 20%. A5, uh, 4B, uh, 6, 5, and uh, I have uh, 
This is the position 100 degrees. I have uh, 2 F uh, to 2 F E here. And um, I also create this kind of dark and color uh, simply by going to the recall artwork tool, uh, go to edit, link harmony color, click this link, and then uh, decrease the saturation and decrease the brightness, what most important. So uh, this is how I create this uh, gap in the middle. What I have here, I also want to decrease the brightness of this guy last and introduce more dark color here and maybe delete this and just uh, place it like this so and this is your design for today i hope you enjoy this tutorial most of this tutorial is based on the single tool called kurachi tool good use of negative space and uh, uh, negative space shapes and tones are the essence of the design. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.